Hello everyone, it's Shep again. I'm going to be doing another reaction again. And this time I'm going to react to Prime vs. Prime. And this time I'm going to this time I'm going to, I don't know if I reacted to one of his videos. I don't, I don't know if I have been, if I have it's probably been, a, been like, a, been a while, been a long while I think. I, well, I can't, I just can't even remember actually. It was, I just can't, I just can't even remember. Unless it was a different, someone else, we get someone, someone else. Dude, back I can't even remember. It was a hard, long time. So the video of this I'm going to be is called Transformers Rise of the Beast, Beast Moon Alliance, Battle of the Six, Dangerous Optimus Prime, Quick Review. So yeah, I'm going to be reacting to it. So before I even start, I want to give a disclaimer. If you do not like the content I make, the reaction feels, or any of the other stuff I do on my channel, if you don't like them, then don't watch it goes else. Because the only thing you're going to be doing is giving me a view, and that's the damn truth, one. That's the damn truth, and nothing but the truth. So, yeah. So, now without further ado, let's get to the video right now. Let's get it right now. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be taking a very quick look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast, yeah. Beast Alliance Battle Chain. I can't wait to see, can't wait, can't wait to see that belt. In a wave which consists Coming on, of Rhinox, Bumblebee, and himself. So let's check out the details of the truck mode. This is how he'll come packaged then. As you can tell, not accurate to the vehicle we've seen used on the set. But right. I mean, who knows? Maybe he will obtain this vehicle towards the end of the movie. It's very Transformers Prime Beast Hunters inspired. And considering we're dealing with beasts in this film, it would make yeah. sense if he was to rescan into this towards maybe in the final act. So right. here we have the details of like, the front. Pretty from. nicely done. This is what the truck looks like from a side. You'll notice that these two wheels on both sides, unfortunately, are fake as they've huh. been sliced in half. So it nearly is just the top and the bottom ones which roll mm. this is what the truck looks like from a top perspective oh, yeah. the back and the underside and in terms of transformation very simple so we mm. simply take these wheels oh. hinge these upwards we can then come here to the rear of the truck and separate this red component away from the legs take this gray piece and what will become the chest bring this mm. here all the way down until it clicks into place rotate at the waist spread here at the legs and then gently pry the arms apart we'll then take these shoulder joints rotate these around until they click into place and then rotate here at the shoulder do the exact same here on this side take these wheels fold those backwards and for some finishing touches come here to this blue piece push it forwards and bang it will reveal optimus prime's head mm -hmm. and here we have that battle changes prime in his robot mode and you oh, know yeah. what looking pretty decent this is definitely how optimus appeared towards the end of the bumblebee movie oh, yeah. and from some of the trailers looks to be pretty faithful to how he'll appear in rise of the beasts so there we have the head sculpt, very nicely painted and detailed, and then we've got complete metallic blue plastic, which looks sick, really nice silver there for the mouth guard, and the oh, yeah. detail is some that could rival the Studio Series counterpart, so that's saying something. And then here for the legs, basically identical to the design that we saw from the Transformers Bumblebee movie, and oh, yeah. this is what Optimus looks like from a back perspective. Now these figures are very similar to the Warrior class that we took a look at for Transformers Earthspark in the oh, yeah. sense that they all have built-in weaponry. So oh, yeah. Optimus' built-in weapon is his iconic 2007 Michael Bay-inspired battle oh, yeah. which we do get a pretty good glimpse of towards that final scene that we saw in the latest teaser trailer. Not too bad looking sculpt work wise, but unfortunately no paint whatsoever. Now articulation very basic, nothing out of the head, all joints here out of the shoulders, very loose I may add. A bit of swivel here at the bicep, nothing out of the elbow. Tiny bit of waist rotation, as well as some ball jointed hips which can go forwards, backwards, as well as out to the sides, and nothing here out of the knee joint. So definitely very basic, but I can see it appealing to maybe the young collectors. Now to transform him back into robot mode, very easy, we're just gonna wanna fold right. up that blade, Take the head, snap it into place, rotate mm -hmm. here at the waist. We can then combine the legs, just like that. Mm -hmm. Come up to the top, flip these wheels here forward, and then we'll just rotate these shoulder joints here to the back. We can then proceed to combine, just like that. And mm -hmm. then like we did previously, bend here at this gray hinge until it clicks into place. Oh, yeah. Tab this section into that slot. Mm -hmm. So snap that in there, and then bang, flip down the wheels, and you have a Battle Changer Prime back mm -hmm. in his truck mode. Oh, and yeah. here for some size comparisons, we have oh. the Rise of the Beast Optimus compared alongside the Warrior Class Earthspark version. Oh. So as you guys can see in terms of length, pretty much oh, yeah. the same. I mean, the Earthspark Warrior Class is a lot bigger in terms of its overall height. And here it is compared alongside a Transformers Core Class Optimus Prime. So 
a little bigger than that small guy. And here is all three Optimus Primes in their robot modes. And I have to say, the Earthspark Warrior class is definitely the superior out of the bunch, which is unfortunate, as I think this Rise of the Beast Battle Changes Prime is similarly priced, but unfortunately it lacks the articulation this version has and definitely lacks the engineering. But let me know down below, what do you guys think of this Rise of the Beast Battle Changes Optimus Prime? And do you guys plan on picking up any of this mainline Rise of the Beast toy line? As always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until my next video review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Yeah. So yeah, that's the end of the video. And I hope you guys like this reaction film. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys do like it. If you don't, then I don't care. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell button. Remember every time I upload. And share my videos and react videos and their videos and do my channel to your friends, family, and also if you want to, it's your choice. Because I ain't making ya. So yeah. And don't forget, and don't forget to subscribe to Brian vs. Brian if you do subscribe to his channel. If you haven't yet subscribed yet, subscribe. Subscribe. And roll to 2k subscribers. Hope we can hit. And uh, see y'all for more banger content and more banger, banger react videos. So yeah, and I'll see you in the next time. Jump your joint signing out. And peace out for our soldier legends, and peace out, everyone.